Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you some useful tweaks for your Mac. Now, most of these are going to be done through terminal commands, but others do require some Apple scripts, so be sure to head over to Gadget Hacks and download those files. And after that, we'll go ahead and get started. Alright, now this first tweak is going to actually disable the boot sound from playing every time you restart your Mac. So to get started, you're going to want to open up Terminal and then copy over the command that I have over at Gadget Hacks. Hit Enter, enter your password, and then you're pretty much all set. This will re, um, set your volume to zero when you restart your computer. And um, if that doesn't work, you might want to consider resetting your, your PRAM. You can go ahead and check out the instructions to do that over at Gadget Hacks as well. If you ever want to revert back to the default uh, volume for your boot sound, all you have to do is copy and paste over that command that I have at the full guide as well. Hit enter and then it'll be set back to normal. Now this next week is going to have to do with the dock. This will make it appear faster than normal. Um, you see right now that I have this uh, auto hide enabled, but this will make it appear faster. So both of those commands you can be found over at the full guide as well. Just copy and paste them over. That is the first one, and that is okay if you have the black screen pop up. That's just because your dock is being killed and restarted. And then copy over the second command, and that's pretty much it. Now you can see here it's a lot quicker to pop back up compared to before. Next up is a command that will allow you to copy and select text from the quick look. So whenever you um, press spacebar on a, on a document or something like that, you'll be able to actually interact with that text. To do that, just open up terminal, enter the command that can be, that can be found in the full guide. And then now whenever you open up the quick um, select pop-up, you could go ahead and copy over text and you can actually interact, interact with it. Um, unlike before, you could also disable that as well by changing this last true part to false. Hit enter one more time. And now when you open up quick look, you will not be able to interact with the text. Now the last terminal command that I'm going to be showing you, it actually had to flatten a directory. And by that, what I mean is in any folder, you're going to have um, subdirectories. And if you have too many folders than folders, you can get really easy to lose files. So the, what this does is it takes all the files and it puts them into the topmost folder so that all these files you've actually found in the semester 12 folder instead of within the different subdirectories. So to actually do that, you're going to want to open up Terminal and then copy over the command that I have in the full guide. Just paste that over. Now you're going to want to change the target directory portion to actually where you have the um, topmost folder. So in this case, I'm going to change it to desktop slash semester 12. And then you have to do that for the first target directory portion of the command as well. Hit enter, um, put yes, and then after that's done, open it up, and I could see that instead of having different folders, it's all located in the topmost folder. Next up, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Xbox One controller drivers. Now, this won't let you use the controller wirelessly because it, um, it does not use Bluetooth in order to connect wirelessly to the Xbox One. You're actually going to have to use a wire connection. So to actually do that, you're going to want to download the Xbox One controller.zip from Gadget Hacks and then unarchive it. And then once that is unarchived, you can go ahead and open up the folder and double click on the install.command file open it up and then it'll run through terminal if you get an error saying that you need to have um text dev enabled for your kernel go ahead and do that that is okay the one reason you need that is because the developer does not have an official apple developer account so it will not be able to install officially so you will need to have that mode enabled for yosemite after that, all you have to do is reboot, and then now whenever you plug in your Xbox One controller, it'll read as a regular gamepad for most games. If not, you use a third-party app to configure that uh, manually. All right, now last up, we're going to be adding a script to text edit to add a word count tool because text edit does not come with one normally. So to do that, you're going to want to go to your utilities folder in your apps folder, and then select script editor. 
after you do that, now go ahead and copy and paste that new text in. After that, you're going to save it. You're going to save that within uh, library scripts and then in that folder you should have a folder named text edit. If not, you're going to want to create one and then you're going to save it as something called word count or you can change it to whatever else you want. Hit save. And before you close out script editor, go to the preferences menu and then check the box next to show script menu in menu bar. Now you go ahead and close script editor and open up text edit. And now you go ahead and create a new document. And if you go into the script menu up top, you'll hit text edit, hit word count. Now you get this pop up saying how many words you have and how many characters there are. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to let me know of any other cool Mac tips or tweaks that you know over at Gadget Hacks. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.